world peace is a thing that the average person believes is someone else's responsibility, when actually there is something very practical we can do about it. I presume that everyone would rather have peace than anything else on earth. If everyone really is desiring peace, and if desire were an effective prayer for peace, then we would have had peace a long time ago. There are not many people in the world who are opposed to having peace. There couldn't be, particularly in an age in which anything other than universal peace would lead to universal destruction. All we have said applies to war and peace, for we are discussing the possibility of a spiritual power which consciously used and directed can change the destiny of the world. Let us find what it is that we do know. You and I know that no matter how confused we are, if we will get by ourselves long enough, and think peace, we will become peaceful. Peace is the divine reality at the heart of God. Where there is a community of interest and a number of persons are involved and there is general confusion, if there is only one person to know peace for that group, it will neutralize the confusion of the others. We must practice the presence of peace consciously, definitely, and deliberately. If we can do it individually and in the family, and to a certain degree in our offices and businesses, which we can, why can't we do it for the whole world? We can.